The sudden death of a popular instructor has hit the UNM Physical Education Department very hard. Robert Honke was badly hurt in a weekend car crash up in the Four Corners, and he died on Tuesday. News 13's Amanda Goodman has more from the Newsplex. Amanda? Dick, friends say Rob was no ordinary guy. In fact, even in his final moments, he managed to do something extraordinary that saved the lives of his passengers. From the UNM pool's chalkboard to online message boards, the news of Rob Honke's death traveled fast around UNM's campus. He's just an incredible person. I mean, he was a great student, he was a great teacher, and he knew how to have fun. The 30 year old, known affectionately as German Rob, was a physical education teacher at UNM. His specialty was swimming. He was a personality around here that everybody loved. Originally from Germany, he moved to New Mexico to pursue his PhD in sports administration. He was so close to finishing, and actually, he was way ahead of the normal curve to complete a PhD. But Rob's dreams were shattered on Sunday during a trip to Durango to go snowboarding with some friends. The trio was heading north on Highway 550 when a pickup truck heading south hit some ice, lost control, and slammed into Rob's Subaru south of Bloomfield. To hear what happened, it was pretty devastating. Rob never regained consciousness. He died in a Farmington hospital Tuesday. His friends say a selfless act in those final moments is the reason his friends survived the crash. He was able to maneuver the car to lessen the impact on the two passengers, and he took the full brunt of the impact. Rob's life saving decisions didn't end there. You see, he was also an organ donor. Friends learned today. Five people, including two little boys, are getting another chance at life because of Rob. I don't know who's going to get his heart, but they just got a heart of gold. The couple that was with Rob is expected to be okay. They have a three year old son. Authorities say alcohol was not a factor in the crash. Dick? All right, Amanda, Rob's friends will hold a memorial service for him in the arena at UNM's Johnson Center Sunday morning at 11.